Well, hello, good evening and welcome to Hardwood Turning in the stable studio. I was just making my tea. But we're here now. Let's go over to this camera. So, what are we going to do this evening? First things first, I've got a little uh, surprise. I don't think he's in the chat yet, but he might be in later. I got this envelope from uh, Blair at Good Turn Daily. Um, I'm not sure you the front because it's got his address on it and mine. Um, but you'll notice it's got the corners torn off it. This was posted on the 25th of November and it arrived here yesterday. It's a little sticker. So we're doing a little sticker swap and I'll keep that envelope over there. So I've got a nice new sticker from a Friday sent me too. So let's go over here and we'll stick it on the sticker wall beside everybody else's. If I can get the back and paper of it. I should have prepared one of these, shouldn't I? Can't get the back and paper off, guys. What am I going to do now? Oh, there we go. Oh. And we'll just take it up right there. So that's our good friend, Good Turn Daily. If you haven't, uh, if you're not subscribed to Blair, nip over and subscribe to him. I'll put a link in the chat later. If I can find it. So, that's the stickers done. Let's have a look at this piece of wood. Oh, let me just introduce who we've got in, uh, uh, to assist Abel A this evening. <laughs> Great time. What do you think? Ab assist Abel I don't know. Here we go. Let's have a look. Here we are. We've got again. Joe. We've got the wonderful <laughs> Joe again. Who's in. Uh, just in case we need a singer, Joe's in. We've got uh, Terry from TJ Turning, who's abusing me already. He's only been in five minutes. He's been abusing Hello me. Hello, everybody. Already. Welcome aboard. And we've got our good friend, William Kenny. Um, Hi, everyone. Welcome all along. All from County Carlow. Yay. So that's the support crew this evening. And let's go and have a look at a piece of wood for this evening. We have a piece of you. It's only a small piece because we're making a box. And the reason for the box will become clear in a minute. So it's kind of five inches long and it's uh, 65 by 65 by 65 by 65. So we're going to play with that. I'm going to get millimeters. this mounted. And, oh, you want that in millimeters now? That was in millimeters. No, 60, 65 millimeters, inches, which is two and, uh, two and five eighths. <laughs> Some of our friends overseas only deal with inches. Well, it's two and five eighths for those who can only work in inches. And it's uh, five and one eighth. Old money. Happy now? Happy now. Shoot, I'm mainly started on my ready, guys. <laughs> just, it's just uh, all the time. On fire. So I bought fire. myself a nice new sport drive. Or I would like to call it Step Center, but it's not. It's a record power one. And it goes. I'm going to mount this between centers. And whilst I rough it out to a round shape. I think Joe's going to tell us who's in. Yes, I've been volunteered. Thank you, Joe. Right, uh, welcome, everybody. Oh, have we finished yes. yet? Sorry, I thought you finished. Don't you start with me, Bray. Start already. He's, he's <clears> only in. Yeah, do you want to put us into the background? Uh, do you? Okay. No. Yeah, you do. You're here. Embarrassing. <laughs> Joe, he's not watching <laughs> you, he's watching me, that's for sure. I just about Good removed evening. myself from the stream there. <laughs> Good evening and welcome everybody. <laughs> and we have in the chat this evening. We have, oh my um, god. This is gonna be a bad Usby, day. We have Norman Greenwell, Shane Hurst, Malcolm Douglas, Andy the Stumpy Lover Bundy Roar. That's a nice mouthful. That's handy. <laughs> <laughs> Copper Owl Wood turning. Rob. Hey, Rob. Yep. Wayne the Wood Turner. Wayne. Wayne. Gary Glass. I've already told uh, Brian what you've said about uh, only having the phone, Gary. We'll come the way down first. Come and speed up. Mm -hmm. 
Then we've got Lucy, the Silver Shaver Saver, Bundy Row. The Silver My Shaver goodness. Saver. Yeah. <clears throat> That's a bit I'm of a tongue cluster. Ask about that. We've got Susie, the Swiss Wood Turner. Hey, Susie. So we'll fire the speed away up. 1500 revolutions, or thereabouts. And we'll just bring this to right. Things are versus UK, Rob. Alex of yeah, Wooden yeah. Things, Callum Turn. Or Hoyt of the Greek Turner. Red Gilliver, wood turning with Barry. David J. We've got James Crawford, Barry's wood creations. Terry Bartlett, Terry. Mike U, Mike L, John Scarborough. Does that mean Mark L? Yeah, it could be Mark L, actually. Yeah. Uh, ben Jamin. <laughs> well, yeah. That's it. Keep me, you keep Some me straight, Terry. Right, yeah. I'll keep you straight, Jules. A fiend. Hampton Wood Turnings. Hi, Scott. Give me Scott. I haven't got a Scott, have we? We've got Steve Hill. Just jumped a little bit. We've got Brian Green, Greenhaven Creations. Larry Nixon. We've got SK Crafts. Good evening, I'm Steve. Funny. <coughs> We've got Andy the Valley Wood Turner. Oh, uh, it you know he's changing he must be changing his name as he's going along. Bundy oh. Row. So, uh, keeping us on our feet. Old Drew. Oh, Old Finley would turn in a toe. I'm about there. And that's it, unless I miss anybody. If I've missed anybody, I do apologise, but let, let it be known so I can say hello to you officially. There we go. Over to you, Brian. Oh, gee, thanks, Joe. Welcome along, You're everybody. Welcome. Thank you very much for coming in. The reason we're making a box this evening is, uh, as we suggested on uh, live on Monday, um, our good friend uh, Mike Stratton passed away, and uh, we are doing a the uh, wood turning Zoom Club, uh, doing a little sort of box collection uh, because let me just take this mask off for a moment. We're doing some collection of some boxes to give to the hospice that uh, uh, Mick used to support by sending them boxes so he could sell them. So we are going to have a bit of a collection and uh, send them some boxes to try and keep their coffers flowing, if you like. So it's all in memory of Mick Stratton. That's why we're doing this. So... <sighs> Can I just say that I was in Plymouth for a week's holiday, visiting family. My good friend Terry Bartlett popped over with a big bag of blanks for me to turn boxes for them. And if you don't know Terry Bartlett, if you live in Devon, he's the membership secretary of Plymouth. We're turners. We do classes and lessons each week, as well as the We're Turning Club. So pop along, third Friday of the month. Very I'm well. just putting a tenon on both ends of this now. And I'm using the SC2 chuck today. And that takes a 35 mil tenon. Benjamin's in. I don't know if he's been mentioned before, but he's in. Yes, Robert Forward's in. Uh, Chris and Bailey Woodworks is in. Yeah, they are. They are. And Ben's actually said, Joe's getting really good at this now. She'll have it under an hour before long. Well, thank you very much, Ben. No, she won't. She won't, Ben. Well, you can do it next time. Well, she will, unless three, if three come in, she'll he's, have it. He's always been very cheeky, hasn't he? 
Very cheeky. <laughs> it's funny though. Really? It may be cheeky, <laughs> but it's funny. Zed's in. Zombie Zed. would turn. Zombie would turn. Hi, oh, Zed. Zed. And we've got Zed Zed would turn as well, Mark. I went to watch. Uh, I, went to watch I was watching. Uh, I was sitting in the house actually. And I had YouTube on, and Zed video came on. I think it was was it last night or the night before. I can't remember. Last night was it? I can't remember. <coughs> but the music made me jump out my chair almost. <laughs> yeah, uh, Larry Nixon. Music loud or anything, or yeah, he's he's uh, he's got some good music. Larry Nixon is. Uh, it said, "Do I want to share the hospice mailing address?" Can I? I will, Larry. Um, it's it won't be. D- Done for a little while. We're in coordination with the chairman of the yeah. Zoom club to find out where the boxes have to be sent. Um, and and Andy Bundy it. Rose also messaged me. He's going to he's he's producing a few boxes. And I will give everybody plenty of notice when we know the address. It's it'll be in Milton Keynes, I think. But as soon as you know, I shall let you all know, and you can post it and with a little footnote saying it's m- memory of uh, Mick, if that's okay with everybody. And I'd like to thank you all in advance for uh, your generous yeah. participation. Indeed. Hope to find out very soon. We do. So I'm just parting this off in the middle because I want a lid and a body, obviously. <coughs> and I'm just doing a little bit of time because I don't because want this to overhead. overheat. On the overhead again. Just, uh, Don't want this to overheat. This is the Sorbet, Robert Sorbet, um, fluted part until. Of course, we don't want to overheat the box because tip. being you, it prones to cracking. Isn't it? Yeah, it does. So we just stop there. We've got a little bit to go. And we'll loosen the tail stock a little bit. And we'll just saw through the last little bit there. Listen that a little bit more. Susie's asking William a question, William. Oops. Oh, yeah. you're in Ireland, uh, so it'll be three hours. Uh, we get William, chat. how fast did you turn your ball from today's video? RPMs. Um, probably not more than 7,750 because my lead isn't that heavy. Oops. So there we go. We'll put the lid over there. We'll come question? back to that in a minute. Andy, door 60's in. Yeah. Fast enough for a bull. 800. Yeah, plenty speed. Depends, depends on the size. What size of bull was it, William? Um, if you can stick me on, I can show you. Oh, <laughs> yeah. you. okay. Well, let's yeah. have a look at this bull then. Let me get rid of that and then put William on full screen. There you go. There Just you go. It's not bull. Wrong, wrong way. Yeah. Yeah. Well, sort of can oh, I show Susie, ball, Susie yeah. that? Yeah, can I show yeah. Susie that? Um, U yeah, yeah, you can. I the U ball. Susie was on oh. earlier about. Uh, I was asking the, about the small U balls. The <laughs> there you go. There's a couple of little U balls from William. What are they across? Not you? finished now. They're um, seventeen. Seventeen. The rough, t- rough turned. Are they ready to dry? Yeah. Yeah. The rough, turned, rough turned A year ball, ago. Yeah. So a year ago, they're good to go now. Well done. I'll be down for one tomorrow. <laughs> you can come down and turn one. Uh, oh. Malcolm Douglas has okay, so... asked a question. He says, in the USA, lots of wood turners make boxes for Beads of Courage program. And I know that I know the program he's talking about. Is there any similar in the UK? Not that I'm aware of, Malcolm, mm, at this moment. Not that I'm aware of either. Just change the camera, Brian. <laughs> Everybody's looking at me. Oh. Everybody's looking at you. Uh, I'm looking at the other camera. I can see myself. I'm wondering what's happening. Okay. I'm camera shy. Do we really need William on the camera? Well, okay. he could do the turning. I suppose. There you go. Well, he could, because okay, but... he's far better turner than I am. Kevin okay, but Nanke Creations is in. Kev. Okay. Right, it's just going to be a little small box, as you can see. It's not going to be very big. And David, David Bond. Bond. Just pop that well. across there and hold that in place okay. for now. Switch that thing off again. Always comes on. So we'll just set a little no cut line if you like. Just use the pattern tool. Question for you, Terry. 
have seen. Terry, what was the box one you were on about last week? Charity box. Yeah, um, I'm not sure, Kev, if you know, but lots and lots of people in the Winter Turner community know you knew a chap called Mick Stratton or Michael Stratton. He was a good friend of uh, our community and of a Winter Zoom club I belong to, and he's passed away. His wife passed away a few years ago in a hospice due to cancer. And he supported that hospice for many years by turning boxes for them so that they could display them and sell them in their shop to make funds. And we thought, the Zoom club thought that as a gesture to Mick, we would all try and turn some boxes and get them off to the hospice so they got a nice supply for the future. At the moment, we don't know the address. Our chairman's attempted to find out who's going to be responsible for receiving them. And... I'm going to be turning about two dozen, I should think, because Terry Bartley gave me a stack of timber. And I got commission from somebody in the States. Um, Dane, Ch 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 uh, uh, Dane Chambers, because he obviously can't post it. It's going to cost mega money. So he's commissioned me to do two boxes for him in memorial for uh, Mick. So that's what we're going to do. Fabulous. I've just put a tiny little shape, bit of shape in this. Not going to do too much. Simple box. So just a small little cove in the middle, just to give it a, like a, a waste, if you like. The Yorkshire Git has joined us. Also hey, Heather from Spirit Woodstone and Bone. Hey, Glenn. Hi, Heather. Uh, Andy from AGK Woodworks. Hello, Andy. Hi, Andrew. Hi, Andrew. We've got Turning Welcome Time along. Creations as well. So this is just a simple spin, spindle gauge. Put a little bit of a waste in there. That'll do. Something you haven't got, Brian, at the moment? A waste, you're right. I haven't. No, I'm just kind of, <laughs> My waste oh. has expanded somewhat. I knew we'd get that dig in somewhere. <laughs> you've, been eat, you've been eating. <laughs> you've uh, got my guess. I've got a Christmas stomach. For those who don't know... For those that don't know, but before we came on, Brian put on a smock. You know, <laughs> smock. And then he quickly removed it, and then put another one on, removed it, and then he had to find a larger one. So he's, he's found his Robert Sorby smock, which is large enough to fit him. Which, which is large enough to go over the big fat belly. The BFB. It'd be good if I could get a decent cut on that. That was... Hell yeah. Yes, Gary Glass, we are accepting boxes from anybody that wishes to contribute. We are. And I hope so by the end of the month, I'll know the address. So I'm just leaving that little bit in there so you can actually hold the box when you hopefully yeah. pop the lid off it. That's the... You've got 79 people in the chat. Right. Wow. Thanks very much, guys. Appreciate that. So let me just get rid of this tailstock. Jennifer's Crafting Creations. Hello, Jennifer. Hi, Jennifer. Thank you. Come Jennifer. Mess. Put it and we've got Andy the Woodworth. Oh, no, the... Hi, Andy. Hi Andy, How you doing? welcome along, it's nice, we'll do a bit more work on the outside shortly. Turn that down a bit now, it doesn't need to be, I'll just Sorry. square this edge off a little bit, but try not to do in with the outside edge, just you're kind of square it off. With a camera if you're following. Yeah. You want it on this camera here? Yes please. Yeah. Thank you. There you go. So we'll just kind of square the edge off and we'll leave a little dimple in the middle. That's just, so I'm going to bore it with this uh, spindle gauge as well. So we'll see how that goes. So three eighths or half inch? This one, three eighths. Oh, cool. Uh, and I want to set an edge just about there somewhere. <laughs> Let's try that again. Susie's asking if you could maybe zoom in a little. I can indeed, Susie. My wife just bought me a Terry's chocolate orange. I know, do what this. Oh, was that? Yeah, I like that. The other day. Uh, that properties. <sighs> Roger Kent's in. Good evening, Roger. Hey, Roger. Good evening, Roger. Roger. Yep. And we have to lift the camera up a bit Yeah, you can just see that too. Just a bit I'll just lift that camera up a little bit. 
if I can. Perfect. Yeah. Right. That's good. It's all right, that. There you are. Start. Now, there's two ways you can get yourself started there. You can either use a spindle gauge or you could use a pattern tool. So I can show you how to use the pattern tool. And just, just make a little step in there. And that will be the mortise for the, for the lid. And I will take another little bit in there. So I'll leave a little step. Put the extractor on, catch that. So that's that. Now we can start the hollow. So I want our spinner gauge to be bang in centre there. And we'll just take a little bit out of it. And we can drill a hole in through the middle. And just keep that from bouncing. Flute in around somewhere between 10 and 11 o'clock. And we'll just drill that on in. We'll Making a note how now. deep you're going with it, because <laughs> it goes in pretty quick sometimes. <laughs> yeah, it can do, yeah. So I'm just putting my thumb up against the edge until it touches the edge of the wood revolving. Take it back out. We've got a little bit to go yet. There. Put it on the side. That should probably do. And we can just hollow that out. That's a back hollowing technique, and all I'm doing is pushing, engaging the bottom, engaging the left wing, and then anchoring the tool here and pushing the handle away. Now, be careful here because I want that little step. Just there. And I'll just use the little pattern tool for that, just to set that correctly. Doug Miller's in. Doug. Hi, Doug. Hi, Doug. Hi, Doug. That's, not do that's not doing the job. I'll use the beating and pattern tool. Mm, Richard Phelan's in. Keep up. Mitchell, Mitchell better. I'll do. And then we'll just hollow that out now. Richard Phelan has just joined. Hi, Richard. Richard. I'm just getting this, uh, this top edge finished. We get a kind of finishing cut in there. See what that looks like. <laughs> So we've got a nice little step there for our tannin. <coughs> I just need to tidy up this edge. <coughs> yeah, you've got some eyes in the back of your head in, <coughs> in this place. Why? Well, I bought two packets of fruit pastilles about three weeks ago. And I cleaned oh. his bag, and I've not opened my bag yet. And lo and behold, I've just looked over to my right hand side. I'll drop this. Do and he's scoffing fresh. fruit pastilles out of my bag. There you go. <laughs> Tell you. You didn't hide them good enough, Joe. He's, no, a, he's a good lad, is Glenn. <laughs> no, actually, Glenn is eating them out of his bag. Because he ate yours last week. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yours are gone long ago. Yeah. Get that handle out my way. Anthony Green is in. Ah. 
that's just vibration of the tool. That's can I still using the spindle gouge? A little bit over the rest, just like this point. Take that car right, down so. the way. <laughs> Wesley Hammer. Oh, Wesley. Oh, Wesley. Then Jamie says, well, when he's not looking, chuck a bit of salt in the back. <laughs> then we're notice he'd just carry on eating. Brent B. Cross is hey. noise. Hello, Brent. Good evening, Brent. Hi, Brent. And that should be all the hauling we need to do. Good man. I'm thinking, now I'll use the vacuum because this is you rather than blow it out with a, an airline. No. <laughs> How far down have you gone? Well, we might not be far enough down. I'm just going to use a depth gauge and try it and see. Twisted Pete's in. Oh, Pete. <laughs> Hi, Pete. Morning, Pete. Hello, Peter. <laughs> Trusted Pete. Uh. So we could afford to go down another five mil or so. So we'll just do that and see where we are. There's that spindle gauge. There it is. <laughs> So when I'm making these little boxes, I always try and make, I don't like uh, square bottoms. I like whatever's in it to go into the middle. So I'm just trying to get rid of that little nub in the bottom. But we'll get rid of that even better with a scraper just in a minute. <coughs> now let's have a look at that now. Z likes rounded bottoms. There we go, that's better. So that gives us a little bit of room to, to put a bit more shape in the bottom of that, and we shouldn't go through the bottom. Uh, this crossed. next tool is going to be a one inch scraper. I'm going to use this one inch negative brake scraper just to finish off the bottom and then bring it on up through the sides there. Remembering we've got a waste in the middle, so we don't want to put too much pressure on the middle. Mark Stroughton's in. Evening, Mark. Hi, Mark. <coughs> and we'll have a look at that. Bring that vacuum cleaner over a little bit so it's not to walk so far for it. Just finish my Terry's chocolate orange I had left. <laughs> A little bit more to go in the bottom. How big's the scraper, please? This scraper's one inch. <coughs> A one nice inch crown. piece of temp metal as well, so it's going to be nice and stable. Yeah, it is, I. It's. Uh, yeah. I don't know, it's a quarter inch thick, that, I don't know. Many more of that. We'll soon find he out. says you're always eating, Mr. Bray. Well, I'll try it and is, give it with yeah, Ryan. Yeah, it's a quarter inch. It's, is that a quarter inch? Yeah, six mil. Piece of six mil steel. And 25 mil across the bar. <coughs> Solid, yeah. One inch and a, one inch and a quarter inch. If, for our American friends. Go to the scraper. Brian, don't do what Colin Weir did Tuesday and make the outside what? smaller than the inside on his Oh, line. I've done that before. 
Mm. That's not that's not new for me. <laughs> I've done that a lot of times before. We all make little tiny errors now and again. Or as I remember oil painter, what's he called? Used to say happy little accident. Yeah, it's quite easy to do. <laughs> Woodwork learner says, Brian, if you go through the bottom, you just make a lid for both ends. That's <laughs> it. Absolutely right. It's a two-way box. I agree, Ben. The middle's always better on the chocolate orange. All I'm trying to do here is get rid of the little nub that's in the bottom. In actual fact, it's not a nub so much <laughs> as a hole. A hole? I broke my own bend. advice there, because normally I would say, leave a little nub, you can sand it off. It's easier than trying to repair a hole. Or a little dent, yeah. That's fine, that's perfect now. Just go all the way down to there, good. Lovely. Perfect. Right, just need to sand that up now. So I'm going to put my uh, respirator on. can't see the screen because of that thing. Get off. Put this respirator on, power hood, uh, just because it's you. Nasty stuff. And it's not good for your lungs. No. Oh. Apparently. So we'll bring that up again. <coughs> Get nice and close. Switch that on. Really, no fine dust is uh, very good for your lungs, actually. No, it's not. Yeah, apparently, your lungs can cope up to about 240 grit. And after that, they struggle a bit. Uh, struggle to get it back out again. Uh, now, just going to have to sand this by hand, obviously. It's not going to stick anything in there. So I'm going to start at 120 grit. Just a piece of... Turn the speed away down. Don't need to go on as fast as that. Still quite fast. So that's <laughs> down to about 600. Ah, oh, just keep cramping my fingers. Never good getting cramped in your fingers. No. no. Sign of age. Sign of old age, eh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's, there's that support I keep talking about. Yep. Absolutely, got to keep his, his key on your toes. I.e. vertical. I actually don't like using my fingers. It's all right until they actually you, grab you and twist a, around. You, you, you could use a little bit of uh, Velcro on a stick and do the same yeah, job. That's what, that's what I use. Yeah. You do the same job. The less stress. Yeah, right. yeah, easier. Much easier on your hands. Give Glenn says Terry around. used to get cramped 30 years ago. Yeah, <laughs> grown out of it now, Glenn. <laughs> I was just about to blow that there. Yeah. But it wouldn't make much difference with this big face shield on, would it? Yeah, you'd be all right. No. I've just been blown into my face shield. Anybody else done that? Don't lie. Everybody's done it. <laughs> so when you go to push your glasses up, you find yeah, your no, face like, shield on. Oh. So now that I've done that, I'm just going to give it a little rub with the grain, if you like. And that'll just help reduce the Radial lines that's going round the way. And we'll get on to another grit quickly. <coughs> I'll leave that out, I'll need it again. So that was 120. Let's go to what? Oh, look at that. It's just dropped a whole lot of them on the floor. 180, 240. Same again. So Terry, uh, Andy, the woodwork learner, is saying, are you allowed a chocolate orange? Yeah, Ruth bought it for me. Before Christmas. I've just eaten the last of it now. Like Ben says, the middle bit after you've broken all the segments oh. off is nice. I've just finished eating that piece. It's, now it's gone, so she'll have to buy him another one. Done and I do like Terry's chocolate orange. Mm, I do. 
Any chocolate is good. I have a, I have a problem. Any chocolate is good, actually, yeah. That, you see, I have a problem. I don't like chocolate with orange flavour in it. Oh, one of the best. Oh, it's great. No, don't like it. Rather than not have it, thanks all the same. Okay, we'll have yours then. This was our mod. Come in. I've got a friend who uh, thinks the same, Brian. What, that Brian's odd? <laughs> I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> you just jump on the old ones, don't you, Dan? Oh, yeah. Well, we're jump on you, Brian, but yeah. He doesn't like orange flavouring in chocolate. Oh, like any flavour in chocolate, isn't it? you know. Except I don't like chili. There's, you know, chili chocolate. Yeah, who thought that was a good idea? Yeah. No, I'm afraid Cadbury's dairy milk is about my limit for chocolate. Oh, well, I like Cadbury's fruit and nut as well. It's nice. That, that's why I'm nice and slim, Terry. Yeah, I can tell. <laughs> <laughs> we we'll get you back okay. on the treadmill tomorrow. Then yeah, he can't. He got bad knee. He got bad knee with him. Sold it, didn't he? Yeah. You've sold it. Sold it. Yeah. Harry Klein's in. You know, Harry Klein. Because I've got a bad in. knee and I can't run on it anymore. Even Harvey. Hi, Harvey. There we go. Oh, it's 248. Guess what comes next? 320. No. <laughs> sand and sealer. A little bit of the sand and Sand and sealer. A little bit of sanding sealer. Oops. Oops. There's all sorts of colours in this bit of wood. Mm. You wouldn't believe it. <coughs> nice piece of wood. Done. And after that comes the end for this. I can take my power hood off now. Uh, good friend, Yorkshire Grit. Richard Phelan likes putting dark chocolate in chilli. <coughs> putting dark chocolate where? In, in chilli. Oh, in chilli. No, I don't know. Okay. Yeah, it tones down the hot a little bit. Mm. There's no account for taste. I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> so, speed, speed around 400 to 500 somewhere. 500 is grand. It's only a small piece. And the filpery can be soft <laughs> as your feet. With light brown, Yorkshire gritty. She's off again. Well done, Joe. Yeah. yeah, thanks for the howling. So I told William not to do it. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes. I told I told him he wasn't allowed to howl, Joe, but he just ignored me as usual. So me. Yeah, well. So all the dogs in the street. Brian, you have to do a shop run before you go to the house this evening. Why? Michelle wants Turkish to leave. Yeah. <laughs> She, she can drive, she may go and get it because I'm not going. She looks Turkish delight, then, eh? <laughs> that's me. Delight. I don't like Turkish delight. God. Oh, that's good. It's, 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 it's yeah. right, providing I don't have too much of it. Yeah, you just need a tiny little bit, don't you? No. Andy Burwork Learner asked if somebody screamed something, or was that Joe singing? Was Joe singing? Worse. She is, Andy. Don't to speed up a little bit now. I appreciate your continuous support. Not. <laughs> so even even with applying the Yorkshire grit, I'm trying not to get this hot. Hot, hot, hot. That's 842 revs. We'll crack it up a little bit further. You need to get it slightly warm because you need to melt the wax. Uh, that's why I cranked it up there. But I don't want the, the U to get warm. 
No, it doesn't like the heat. No, it does not. If anybody is new to turning you, don't over sand it. Heather wants to know if you could finish the box in the next five minutes, please, because she's got to go to work. Um, no. <coughs> I'm taking my time. I'm in no hurry. You can always watch it back, Heather. Or if you want, I'll make it a video and stick it up for you. Let's have a look at that. I think I is happy with it. So we'll give it a little bit of Hampshire sheen on the inside. This is Hampshire sheen high gloss finish. And the correct method of applying this is to do it twice. So apply it once. Don't take very much in here because it's only a tiny little box. And then leave it for a second or two to let it dry off a little bit. And while that's doing that, I'll get rid of the Yorkshire grit. We do gin, Stephen. Hi, Stephen. Hi, Stephen. Hi, Stephen. I don't know why I turned that on because I have to put more. <laughs> mics cool. in if anybody wants to see. Oh, Reed Brian's doing that. Oh, I haven't seen Brian do that before. If you'd like to go to the uh, Amsterdam Sheen website, there's tutorials on all their products. Two-minute yep. tutorials on everything they sell. And Martin discusses how to use it properly, or how he recommends using it. Right, so that's enough. two coats of wax. And you can watch the tutorials free of charge. They are all free of charge. Click on any one and now it'll you two-minute tutorial very easy properly. I'll we'll speed that up. Around a thousand revs there. No pressure on the cloth at all. Or tissue or whatever you're using. I would suggest if you're doing something inside a bowl or inside a small cup, just use a piece of tissue. Or safety cloth. The saying someone in the ER uh, last night tangled with the bandsaw, and she doesn't think he'll be giving the finger to anyone too soon. Unless she's posting it. Unless yeah, she's unless, posting it. Unless she's putting it in the post. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's not. It's never good to mess with a bandsaw. No, they don't take any prisoners, do they? Nope. And as always, when you just put a new blade on. Always. Oh, yeah, that's it. Right. So that's that bit. And I'm not going to do anything with the outside because the outside is coming back on again. We'll take the outside off and then we'll do the lid. Yep, Stephen says that uh, Martin is yes, doing yes, a tour of Axminster stores. And there was a post on Facebook yesterday. I shared it as well. Martin worldwide Tushman. worldwide yep. tour yeah worldwide, yeah, worldwide tour. tour that's what he called it I'm not sure if he's going worldwide or not but that's what he said he is so the next thing is to make a tenon to fit the so the lid fits on the box and we need a small tenon Nuneaton is the first one I think on the 21st 50, of January 51 and a half mil wide 51 and a half mil that's not very much oh Tiny, it's tiny. What am I doing with that too? Don't need that. I need this. And it's not very deep, this little tan. It's just going to be about two mil, three mil. I have to say, 52 mil I need. Close that up. Do that. And it's only, yeah, three mil deep. So this is going to have to fit. So I'm going to use my beading and part tool and just drop that tool rest a little bit. There we go. And just take a tiny little fraction off the edge of that. Sounds lovely, Ben. Gary Glass has just found out, his, his grandson's just found out that if you tap the back of an iPhone twice, the torch comes on. 
<laughs> Game. Funny games now. <laughs> yep. We'll just measure this first and, to see and that. Glenn yeah. says, and I think he's talking about the bandsaw. I think so. He beats them <laughs> every time, no prisoners. Well, wasn't it a oh. brand new bandsaw? First cut, Joe, you snapped it and ruined it. I can't remember. It, it, no, no, it wasn't oh. a brand new one. It was a brand new Did one. Did you much of that? Would you believe that? Yeah. You haven't, have you? Oh, I measured that wrong. 56 mil, not 52 mil, you muppet. Well, well. Oh, there goes the... Uh, there goes the grain matching, so we'll just have to take that back a little bit. Oh, it'll still be good. And, and try that again. Just go... Take a bit less this time. Something like that. More. Should still be good, yeah. Should be all right. Have a good day at work with Heather or evening or whatever. Heather yeah. away. Mm -hmm. On to work. I find sometimes easier, Brian, to get a, a better fit has come in, put the tool rest the other way, parallel with the piece. Oh, and come, come in, in that way. way. You yeah, you'll, you'll take less off. Good. And you don't have to keep moving the tool rest then for check your fit. Uh, that's true. I'm just making there a kind of cone shape there as well. Yeah, taper it, yeah. It doesn't really matter how, how often you do this. Just keep doing it until you get it right. That's the end result. Mickey yep. says, rub the solder so of the glasses, Brian. Okay. We're almost there. Getting close. Alan Gibb has just joined us. Hello, mate. Good evening, Alan. Hi, Alan. Right, that's it on the edge, but I've got it tapered slightly, so that's I find good. if you spin that, Bri, if you spin that, then put yeah, the no, button against yeah. it, you get a little burn line, yeah, and you know like where that. you come down to. You can just roughly see, then you just come down to that line. Can you see that burn line there? You want to see it on the overhead? If we can, yes, we can. Yeah, I can see it. Just, yep. Yeah. So just go to that burn line disappears. There. Try that. Oh, it's too loose again, Terry. Ah, it's only French to loose. Fine. You don't want a tight fit, do you? Because it's you split. Well, I don't want a tight fit. I don't really want tight fit boxes because I'm a great believer. In, if somebody wants to lift something out of a box, you just want to lift a lid off. Yeah, that's it. I said you don't do want it. to pick so the box up and pop the damn thing open. No. Steve, uh, you get a quarter, a quarter well, like to a sanding seal. It'll yeah. tighten up anyway. Aye. Yeah, yeah. well, I. So there's the grain. Yeah, it's not it's not too far away. It's a little bit yeah. off. Move around that way. That's there. Just right Steve there. Fleming has just joined. Are you Steve? So it's not or, too bad. Yeah, Steve oh, Fleming. Oh, I might. It's fine. Will be grand. Will be grand. But I would like it a little bit tighter than that because I want to put the tail sock. I'll just take another slither, but just don't go quite down to it. No. Nah, that'll fit. What we'll do is we'll just put a bit of tissue in there. It's my little tissue, it doesn't cut and it doesn't tear, it's useless. So, um, oh. Scare Crafts is actually it's a question for the chat, but I'll say it out. Um, question for the chat tomorrow's night live, everyone still go to start at 7 pm. <clears throat> That's a little bit earlier than um, what Steve's done in the past, yeah, for 7 pm, if everyone's yep. okay. So, well, I'm okay. I like 7 p.m. I'm all right. 7 p.m. is better. As if, as if you want us veritably earworms. Well, that's true, yeah. Well, Susie's asking if it's the Battle of the Makers tomorrow. Uh, no, I don't think so, is it? We didn't do I don't the think Christmas it is. One, did we? 
No, it I'm isn't at all. Now, what do we want to do with the lid, guys? So I'm just going to bring the lid the same size, same size as the body, just like that. Yeah, there isn't much. You got, you got a hollow with the lid out, yeah, me? I know, it. I know. Yeah, but well, I'm just going to put some kind of shape in it, a little bit. Okay. I'm going to put just to put a little knob on the end top of this. Yeah. So we'll just bring it round. So a little waste in the middle. Right, we'll take that a bit more round. Something like that, and then we'll put a little knob on the top. Don't be so vicious, Brian. So, Steve has actually said, I will have to Seven, think about it? that one, guys. Okay, you twisted my arm. <laughs> Seven o'clock. Get a little bit of bounce in there. Yeah, it just um, due to the loaf, wasn't it? That way you felt on the battle of the makers. Do, do, do. Yeah, quite a few were ill, weren't they? And I was in hospital. Yeah. Yeah, well, we had a bit, a bit of a problem with sickness anyway. and stuff, so. Yeah. yeah. I'm just messing about with that because I don't really like the shape of it. Okay. I've gone off the shape. Don't forget there's only thin pen on there, aren't you? Mortis. Yep. Saying, is that peanut shaped or is it just me? Yeah, it's kind of peanut shaped. I was going to say the same thing, yeah. yeah. It is kind of peanut shaped. Yeah. But that'll be all right. I don't care. So you can keep some nuts in there, Brian. You could keep some nuts in it. It's a nut box. It's a nut box is making it. Thought I'd get that in before you did, Derek. I wasn't going to say a word. Yes, you were. Don't lie to me, Argentina. So now we're sanding. Oh, would you like me to sing? There was an opening there, wasn't there? No, we were going to sand. You're going to sing while he's sanding, Joe? Yeah. Uh, Steve's saying he'll get, ready, uh, get a date ready for the end of the month to start again. Okay. Uh, Woodwork Learner's got a question for you, Terry. How's the hip? Fine. At the moment, it's like three weeks now, and I'm sort of walking around with one stick. It's so a little it's, peanut box. It's getting good. Still painful, but whatever. I shall be doing it live on Monday, just to let everybody know. And it will be a box. Or two. Or two, okay. yeah. Now, Gary Glasser says the first box he ever made, he decided it needed a fraction more off the lid. And just because he wasn't happy with the shape, it ended up as kindling and a dent in the garage door. Right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I can go with that, Gary. I can go with that. I seem to have a better bar. A tool mark there. Let's get rid of that quickly. Of saying that the new chuck Thank and loads of jaws have arrived at last. Yay! Good. You'll be doing lots of different things then. Susie did say you could texture it like a peanut shell. <laughs> yeah. Oof. I suppose it could. Yeah. You've got the tools. I have indeed. That's terrible down there. That's absolutely terrible. No. Oh. oh, that'll be all right. Skew it. Thank you. Skew it. Oi, oi, oi. Just float the bevel. Don't lift it too high. There you go. Perfect. 
and says, Terry, now you have a new hip, you can come out of retirement and go back to work. Nah. Yeah. Much better, mate. Brian El Tenero de Madeira is in, I know Brian. Oh, you rotten devil. I'll beat you <laughs> to it, Josephine. You did. <laughs> Who is that just joined us, Joe? Brian Elton era de Madeira. There you go. So you got it in there. Thank you very much. Well, first go. I'm happy now. Yes, you're happy now. She's <laughs> happy. Right, there we go. That'll be. We did. Excellent. Going to hold the inside. I think. Let's hold the inside of this. It's not too far away from the. It's the wrong tool. According, again. Andy, woodwork learner, according to uh, Benjamin, they're boob jewels. Just change the camera there, Brian. Yeah. Brian might know. Wesley Hannah wants to know, Brian, do. The subject of Chucks and Jaws, do any of does any of the record power dome jaws fit the Nova 2 Chuck? Uh, I don't know if it fits the Nova 2. Right. Because that Pete little, Twisted uh, Trees is an he might know. He's got no see. I think they should actually. In fact, yeah, they probably will. I didn't know record power dome, dome jaws. No. Only on the little SC2. I've seen them. Dome jaws. Is it dome jaws? Oh. That's SC2, uh, is it? The yeah. screw holes, that's an SC2 chuck there, yeah? Yeah. So if a Nova is a two inch chuck, I would suggest it will fit. Alex of Widden Things has said he's just asked his doctor to refer him for a new hip replacement. Was that just because I've had one, Alex, or what? Well, you've got trouble as well. well he took 90 he minutes. I was awake as well. Were you? Yeah. So he wouldn't let me watch it. He wouldn't let me watch it, but uh, yeah, I was wide awake. Good well, golly. It'd be a bit brutal, wouldn't it? 90 minutes it took. I heard him sawing and chiseling and banging. Oh, oh. Right, Gary. oh it was. Oh, no. Gary, you can tell us that story on Monday. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, or off air. Yeah. <laughs> or somewhere else, preferably, yeah. Maybe we're going to have a few paints. Yeah. I'm just going to get right into that middle there. I'm so just going to then you get a nice curve all the way across there. You takes a scraper well, doesn't it? It's nice wood. It does. Yeah, it's one of my favourites to turn. Yeah. Yeah. It, it seems like sort of people like you. Comes like butter when you put a scraper on it. You've got a big um, branch there, oh, yeah. obviously. That's okay. Gives it character. Give that a little bit of sand up. Um, Oh, Drew says when he had his second hip replacement, he was in at 10 and owned by five. Oh, wow. Should have got a surgeon just come come around and do it there. Good <laughs> yeah. Why did you bother going to the hospital? 
<laughs> Pop in for lunch. Bring your tools, mate. Yeah. You know? Home DIY. Yeah. Got a bit of a tool market there. I think I have to do something a bit more than yeah. Sanding is not going to take that. Out. Clean up the battle on that. I think that should have it. I don't know if it has or not. Mm -hmm. Find out now. There we go. You boys are all being very quiet this evening. Well, well we're just watching. Jules fell asleep. We're engrossed here. To sleep. Ben Jamit says he's turned some oak beam today. Horrible stuff. Not sure why it's so difficult uh, to the oak different, blanks yeah. he's bought. Sorry, different. Different to the oak blanks he's bought in the past. Mm. Any wonder I couldn't get that to sand. That was 240 that I was using. Oh. Should have been 120. Not very clever. I, I like turning oak though. Smoke. Yeah, it looks nice to come, yeah. Yeah, lovely. Look, Gary Glass is saying, all right, grandson's mummy's back. I'm off home again. Catch the rest later. Thanks all. Cheers, Gary. Right, Gary. Catch you later, Cheers, Gary. Thanks, Thanks for coming in, in, mate. Everyone's not too far. Do. That lock bonks, nice. Yeah, it adds to it, doesn't it? It's done it ever, yeah. That yeah. shine out lovely. A little bit sandy sealer on there. Most of it on the, on the bed bar. Just going to say, uh, no, <laughs> there's nothing in a bed box. It's it's not it fell in there, we saw it. One little, one little tiny spot. Jeez. Underneath, you, you know. lift, that pot, lift that pot up. Yeah, like nothing. Yeah, I think it went down between the bars. Yeah, nothing. Oh, nothing. Still whining. Where's the god? Running out of it was. <laughs> Crypto up your wine. Run out of you. <laughs> I can take my furs off again. Thankfully. Oops. Nearly lost my microphone. Right. You stuck it in your tea earlier. Just get that. Yeah, I stuck it in my tea earlier. Just, well, just about anyway. Very nearly you found them your sponge bits yet? You found them. Michelle found them. Good on Michelle. Yeah, it's on, the, it's on the end of it, look. Oh, you can't see it. Mickey found them, didn't she, the other day? That's a good idea. She can't see you it. were cursing, you couldn't find them, and then she came in with a box, bro. She did. She brought it. <gasps> look. That's because Michelle's very good at putting things away. <laughs> Or remembering when, where she put even them. When she's not, even when she's not supposed to put them away. No, no. She's tidying up after you. Yeah, they all well, do. Well, that's what she says too, won't you, man? <laughs> I know, because it happens in my house too. Have you got one of those hands, too? Oh, yeah. Hands that feel pretty can be oh. soft as your face. Light brown, your sugary. <laughs> what on earth that was that for a little bit. Good on you, Joe. Nothing. I'm going to speed up because there's a tiny little bit of, a, of wood, so it shouldn't take very long. Andy's creeping there. Creeping. Andy Woodward is creeping. Ah, the sweet tones of Joe. You're uh, lying, Andy. You are cursing her earlier. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> Can't make his mind up, that boy. I need two face these. Switches from one to the other. 
runs with the airs and the ends. More faces than a town hall club. That's it. You got it. Right. One little box. That's a clean piece of cloth. Just give that a little speed up. Have you got rid of that rubbish side. stuff yet? Is this still that rubbish stuff? What you say, Joe? The cloth. Is it still the oh, rubbish stuff? Oh, the paper towel, yeah. Yeah, yeah. that's I. Here we go, there we go. Terry had ear defenders on at the time. I mean... <clears throat> what, does he want you to sing again? No. Oh, no. No, no. Oh. I can always do it the truth comes out. He's just feeling grateful for the fact that he missed it. <laughs> oh, dear. Don't know, strike her off and sucking all my warm air out of the shed. Don't want that. Draw out all your blanks. Oh, that's true. All the ones in here should be should be dry by now. So we'll just get ready with another little mm. coat off. Andy's got a question. Has anyone turned Oh Pepe? Is it? Turn what? Oh Pepe? No. No it hasn't. O P O O P E P O O P E B A. Hmm. Never heard of it. I never no. heard of it. No. Need to ask Wayne or somebody that. Yeah, Wayne might. Wayne would have turned it. Wayne's turned everything. Just about anyway. I'm sure he has done I most things anyway. Scope. Certainly, I haven't. He'll right. come back and say, "Yes, I turned a piece in 1846." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fell off a sailing ship as it sailed past. <laughs> Climbed up and cut a foot off the mast. Yeah, the bottom part of the mast. There we go. That should do. Excellent. Okay, nice. Shiny like a dog. Is. Oh, if I could find out where the, uh, where the grey match is. No idea where they're getting matches at all. I wouldn't worry about it, Brian. There's a big wide bit. There's a big wide bit. Somewhere about there somewhere. That's not bad. Not too bad. Yeah, will do. Right, now, what do I have to do now, Terry? Uh, finish the bottom. Finish the top. Finish the bottom. I'll finish the bottom now. Put it yeah. on. Finish the bottom. Turn it on. Put, put it on here. Yeah. Oh, no. That means... Oh, I'm, yeah. going to have to, I'm going to have to tape it on. Because it's... Right. Tape it on. It's, I'm going to take make that... Make a little jam choke there, Brian. I'll yeah. take that bit off the bottom first. Or make a jam choke. But, the, yeah, jam choke, be a bit careful. It might split. It's thin. You, yeah, I'm not... Well, that it's quite a thin piece. It's oh, quite thin. Unless you... you know, yeah, I was going to say, you might have a chuck that. It is quite thin. wooden jaws. Hmm? Well, you could put that back in the chuck, actually, and, and part it off that way and leave it like it is, can you? Okay, but I just want to get rid of this. Down there. Just leave it off my shoulder in case I want to. Right. A bit more. I need to make a foot now, somehow. Bye, Wesley. Wesley's got to leave. Bye, Catch Wesley. Cheers, Wesley. Bye, Wesley. So, let's just take this in here. We'll just finish this off, I think. We'll just take and make it flat on the bottom. A little bit convex. Yeah. Pete says there's nothing wrong with a bit of tape. Mike has a whole book showing how to use it. <laughs> no, not to use it. <laughs> I've done the I've done the Mike Walt Mike Walt taping course. So it shouldn't be too bad. I remember watching that that night. He was trying to tape up that piece. Oh, brilliant, wasn't it? <laughs> it was classic. Unbelievable. Yeah, nothing was going. Nothing was going right for him that night. No. You get days like that. Oh, days like that. Oh, you do. That's all part of the phone, isn't right. it? Yeah. You can part that, part that off all the way down there now. 
We'll just finish this outside the edge, give it a quick. We did sand that, but we'll sand this bottom bit. It's 120, so we'll just get that in there to give that a quick. Oops, put that on. And bring that all the way up to there. Rattle on a little bit. So we'll tighten that, take the tail stock up a little bit. Should be fine. For the old 120, right? I reckon he's going to do it again, Joe. <laughs> no, I'm indeed. Just going to do it now, just in a second. Three tunes. Tony Bart is in heaven now. Are you so lucky? Or unlucky. It depends how you want to look, mm. look at it. That's 240 in there. Right into that edge there, 240. <laughs> Do the whole body with 240 now. The fact that that's only sat in that tiny little tenon is going to stop yeah. you from pushing too hard with this uh, this tool and over sanding it. Not only light, light sanding anyway, really, isn't it? It's... You're supposed to be light sanding anyway. You're not yeah. supposed to be pushing yeah. hard. If you're pushing hard, all you're doing is generating heat, which will destroy your paper even quicker. Benjamin says, if you turn on subtitles while Joe is singing, YouTube crashes. I <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> don't know what you do about her, Joe. I do it to be, I'm sadistic. People don't like it, I'll just keep singing. We were just waiting for you to realise, Bryce. Right? Well, I'm sure you were, Terry, yeah. We're trying to teach you to do it on your own, just in case we all bail out. Yeah, I only do it by myself when I'm when I make videos. Harry. That's why you we guys noticed. are here. We noticed. That's why you're here. That's why I employ you for. You just say employ. No, yeah, yeah, I know the wages are terrible, but so you're don't you get employed. paid, Joe? William and I get paid. Yeah. <laughs> Paul Capper is in it, Paul. Hi, Paul. Hi, Paul. Hi, hey, Paul. How you doing, buddy? How's the workshop? Clean yet? Nope. Nope. Found another space for someone else? Hey. Here we go again. Last time, I promise. <laughs> I don't yeah. promise at all. Andy, she's going to sing any minute now, so uh, just the wallpaper will come off on its own. Go, Joe! Go, Joe, go, go, go. Come on, Joe, sing. Sing, Joe, sing. Louder, Joe. With light brown, Yorkshire gritty. Love it. Paul hasn't been in the workshop since before Christmas. What? Wow. Oh, must be getting more trolls sometimes, right? Oh, withdrawal symptoms okay. I can't wait to get started. Yeah, I've had a week off. Well, I have to make a jam chuck of some description, why not? And it's just lid. Yeah, you might well, yeah, you might. Oh, do. I'm having fun doing this this evening. I'm loving it. Oh, you might be able to finish the lid in situ, Brian. I might just. Take it off. Very it off. <laughs> I'm going to measure it a bit and see. But once I get this polished, um, I'm going to put some masking tape on this and finish this end off. Yeah. That should probably do with the old Yorkshire take it down as, Take it down as much as you can with the. Uh, yep. Before you take your tailstock away. And then, yeah, just very light cuts, it will come out of cast, I should think. It looks a very tactile box. It is. Uh, it kind of looks like you want to put your hand on yeah. it. Yeah. You're quite right, Joe. 
If it's sitting in a shop, people would want to pick it up. Yes. I've been in this workshop all day today. Have you? Yep. Uh, I was fixing my uh, laser cabinet. Yep. So it's now all set up and organized so I can um, make, get my laser engraver organized and working better. So a light coat there so as everything goes dull. Leave it for a moment or two. Have you finished the cabinet? Yep, finished the cabinet. Oh, I don't interested. Finish. I'll show you after. All right. He gave me a turning lesson as well. Did he be crumbs? Oh, well no. done. No, I didn't. No, he had to suffer Find someone that. by turning. Find that hard to believe, William. <laughs> nah, William's, William's a good turner, guys. Don't be listening to him. He's a good turner. <laughs> What am I doing? I need a second coat. What am I doing? Oh, one that's more, twice yeah. you've done that, Terry. You're turning the lathe on so it dries out a bit faster. So That's what I was doing. That's why I did it. I knew there was a reason. All planned. <laughs> you thought we was going to bite and tell you about it. We wouldn't have. We'd just let you make a mistake. No, you wouldn't, would you? Just leave me to it, wouldn't you? It's fine. Two coats. Gentle buff. Uh, showing. Lovely. Mark you is a perfect candidate, guy, by the way, guys, yeah, for uh, your sugar micro pie. If you want an even shinier shine. Deeper shine. That looks pretty good to me. It does. Nice clean piece of this rotten tissue that I've got. I can see you determined to get rid of it. One piece each time. Using <laughs> pistols. Yeah. The other day with decent tissue, made one piece last, and he turned over about twenty times. I dried it out. Right, so we'll take a little bit more out of this. Oh no, we'll tape this up first. Put a bit of tape on. Uh, will the tape take off a bit of the shine that you've... Yeah, but I can buff it up later. Okay. It'll be okay. It ain't gonna, it ain't gonna do anything. I won't go anywhere. It's painter's tape, so it just comes yeah. off easier. Just put a big jubilee clip on that now and it should hold. Yeah, I'll be so fine. I'm yeah. gonna put a couple of zip ties on it or something. <laughs> That'll be fine. Or some super if it doesn't glue. hold, if it doesn't hold, it doesn't hold. You know, it just falls off. But it is what it is. Drop that tool rest down a bit. There. Spindling gouge just to take some of that off and see what happens. Yeah, fine. I'm going to have this on the buffing wheels anyway to finish off at the bottom of this. Try to avoid the spikes of the... Uh... Yeah, mine, yeah. Just takes a little chunk out of your gouges else. It does. You take it out, just, just put in a little point you Yeah, I'll take them off. Yeah, just... Yeah. Get the tail stuck out of the way now. You don't need to do. Part that bit off. Part that bit off first. Uh, let's see. Let's see, Terry. Let's just try a little bit. As long as we've got a catch, we can, it should be okay. That's why I said saw it off or part it off. Well, I'm just going to saw it off in a second, Terry. Then you can finish it off with a spindle list of gouges afterwards. But no. Scoo chisel now. I'm just trying to undercut this a little bit so it's, it's kind of undercut. 
so it sits on his bottom. Just like that. And we'll just run the skew chisel in there. Take that off. Job. Perfect. Just like that. Raceless. A little bit of 240 grit, just finish that off. Not convinced that's flat. Wow. No. But I'll find out now. Nope, it's a little bit Kong, okay. it's convex. A little bit convex yet. So we'll just take a tiny little shaving off with the spindle gauge. So pressure's all got this way on the bevel. You got enough in the bottom of me, only enough. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's right. But well, I just need to take just a, a tiny, can you see it? Oh, yeah, know, yeah see that. Camera. Seen the shavings. It's just the tiniest little shaving there. And all the pressure is going through the bottom of the, the bevel straight to the headstock. There. And we'll go back to the overhead. We'll put that back on. And there we've got a concave in the bottom now. Perfect. Good job. The rest of that will just buff out. Now, take this off again. Take the box off. Just want to check the depth on that. There, that's okay. Go around a little bit more and make a little knob on the top. So, oops, there, get that out of the way. I'll just get rid of some of this first. Bring this round a bit more. Roy's the boy has joined us. Good evening, Roy. Oh, Roy. Hi, Roy. Who's that? Roy, Roy the boy. Roy's the boy. Roy the boy. Hi, Roy. I'm just going to use this pattern tool just to bring that in a bit more. Right there somewhere. You ready to catch this, Terry? Absolutely. If I don't, William's in second slip. I'm just beside it here, ready to go. Yep. Joe's got the wicket keeper gloves on, so we'll be fine. It's that. And then we'll use this little part and tool because it's got a flatter point on it, it's not fluid. And I'm just going to use it as a chisel, as a gouge, even. And just shape that little knob that's on the top. Yeah. 
you finish that off. Was that turned around in the chuck, Bri? I don't know, mate. I'm just about to find out. I just want to get this bit done here, but I'm just holding on Light, to just in case. Lightly gripped, maybe, you know, just very lightly gripped with a bit of paper. I don't know if it will. It probably will, actually. Probably will. It's not that big. That's fine. It's good. Adam, I love wood turnings during this. You know, I might have to put a two inch chuck on there, actually. Oh, yeah, Adam. Yeah, just to, just to grip it very lightly. Bring a tail stock up and you know, just just That's really lightly. And what I could do is put my uh, rubber sorby chuck in. I knew I'd get to use it sometime. <laughs> We're using a tunic, so just as well. Look at the whole hog. Yeah. Put that in. And see what this wrong thing. What am I doing way. with that? Oh, they're one. It's this one. <laughs> yeah, it's the wrong thing anyway. Yeah. Just check and see if you're alert. And you are alert. Moves alert, Danny. Very lightly touched. There, I'll get that. Bring the tail stock up just to mm -hmm. give you that bit of edge. What I'll do is I'll get rid of that thing. And put that on. Just say we clean that bit off. Eh? In fact, you could tape that to the chuck because um, yeah, it, it is. You tape it to idea. the chuck. Yeah, because it's, it's very easily. lightly held, isn't it? You only want to finish off that easily. ball on the just, end. Yeah. Just put it there. Put a bit of tape on it. That way you don't mark a chuck so much. Try that. Absolutely. Good. Mike, what would spin, be proud of you? Spin it up, see what's happening. Spin the gauge again. And just take tiny little cuts. And it will take a minute to get down through that. Can't be accused of wasting wood today. No. Nope. So you're doing it the actual lid that we go down with the part into now. Ah, be alright. Be fine, Terry. Well, you can just trim it right back down with the part into then. <clears throat> to the size you want. Okay. We're definitely not wasting wood all day. I'm using this because I want to make the this part of the this is part of the ball little knob on the top. So the next question is, do we need a ball lid? Oh, got a captive ring. Do we need a ball on here or? I'd leave it like that shape, dovetail shape. That's, that's what yeah, I think too. Yeah. With, with a yeah. dent, you can take the pip out the middle with a dent, you know, and a little indent in the lid, in the ball, in the, not the ball, but you know. The... Take, take, take this little yeah. dent out here, you mean? And go and make it, make it cone shaped. Yeah, yeah, and then take the take the tail stock away and make a put a little dent in there, you know, recess. Recess, but you know. I know. We're just trying to get a nice little transition there too. Dimple, isn't yeah. it? Just like that. Yeah. See what happens when we take the tail stock away. Be fine. Just. I already just have a dimple there. Ginger that away, yeah, but get the dimple out of the way. Just make it nice and smooth. Well, we've got a fair old dimple there, Terry. That's all right. It'll go in gently. Be fine. Bit more speed. Oh, just make it a little bit. A little bit uh, smaller. Just 
it's well taped on, so you're going to go anywhere. Is it? It's, not coming, it's not coming off. Yeah. Unless I get a massive catch, it's not coming off. Well, if you get a massive catch, the actual handle will come off and the yeah, it'll stay it. there. Probably. Lucy says, I struggle to find people on here for watching things. Think I need an idiot's guide. Well, if you sub to somebody, Lucy, that you like to watch and hit the bell um, on their up. channel, you'll get a reminder mm -hmm. when their next video is due. So, is it about 30 minutes notice you get? You get a 30 yeah, minute warning. Yeah. And you get told when they're on. Yeah. That might, might help you. So I'll just do that and uh, want to get there's a little tool mark in there, I can just see it. So we'll just give that a little rub with a 240 grip. And that should get rid of that. There we go. Blend that out. Looks good. There you go. So, put a tiny little bit of sandy sewer on the end of that. Just to finish that off. Just like that. Won't take a second. And just burnish it in. Another clean piece of cloth. You ready, Joe? Oh, you're not going to do another one, yeah? Look at me. Look oh, at me. Grip again. <laughs> Just blend that in with the Yorkshire grit. Right. Hands up. Once upon a time, time there was a, a tavern with light where we used to raise pretty. a glass or two. <laughs> you rotten sausage. Remember He's how we laughed sausage. away the hours. He's a sausage. And dreamed all the things we'd like to do. That just sounded really like what she wanted to say. <laughs> Lucy's saying that she actually sub uh, she is subscribed to you, Brian, but she never got a notification. Have uh, you subscribed to me then, Lucy? Yeah, but did you ring the bell, Lucy? DJ Turning. DJ yeah, Turning. Yeah, you've got to, you've got to ring the bell. Lucy, so. I know Lucy subscribed to me because she's, uh, she's, she's a recent subscriber. Yeah. So is Andy. Thank you very much for, you for subscribing. Box Monday uh, lunch. I appreciate it. I'm just, buff, I'm, just, I'm just going to buff that when it's working because it's a tiny little bit. I don't matter. And Robert Broadwood says, "Do you need to be on YouTube to get the reminder?" You well, do, actually, Robert. Yeah. Ah. Yeah, it you doesn't do come. Need to be on. Yeah, the, the, the the reminder will come um, to YouTube, yeah. but you need to log yeah. in to to know that they're on. Yeah. You can select text messages, not text messages. Email, email messages as well, so yeah, I, you'll get it on an email, but you know that you might not see the no, email until it's late. I never asked for the bell, so I just know when people are on that I want to watch. Lionel's Attila in. De Leo is in. De Leo. Hello, Lionel. Hello, Lionel. Bonsoir. Right, you come off of that. Oh. Right, you think that would be easy to pull that off, wouldn't you? Yeah, Adam's but saying you if you've got your app go. on your phone, it, it oh. will remind you. No yeah. Bye for now, Fred. Oh, that's Thanks just for coming. Good Fred. Oh, Fred. I just right, need to polish up now. Got some Yorkshire grit stuck on it, so I give it a little polish up just by. There's a little bit of Yorkshire grit stuck where the, the tape was. We'll just give it a little rub up and get rid of it. There we go, that's the lid done. Richard said he gets the. Um, Notifications automatically on his phone. Yep, I do as well. Yeah. Knows when to avoid YouTube, eh, Richard? Roy is suggesting that I have to start singing with an American accent now. Uh, I'm struggling to sing in the first place, let alone with a. Well, this, is, this is true, accent. of course. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Brian. Yes, Joe. Can I go to that camera? <clears throat> Might have to zoom in a bit. Eh? Look at the mess I've made there, look. Oh. I honestly can't believe the mess I've made. It's shocking. Terrible. Let's go there. Anybody think you've been turning wood? 
anybody be thinking I've done this turning here? Yeah. You're right. Uh, it's not the right camera. Let's try this camera. You loves to be polished, doesn't it? It's shining. Oh, it, it does. does. It does love it. Still not the right camera. Let's try that one. I'm using this Logitech thing, and the problem with that You're doing is doing a good job here. It, uh, it does that kind of thing. Hmm. I'll believe it. Next, there. Next focus it. I'm going to focus. Go to all focus. Oh, you just get there you go. Hey. Camera set. Perfect. Because right, I had that camera set for another purpose, Terry, today. So there you go. There's a little box. Well, yeah, oh, no, but that's what it came out of. One of those. It's one of those. Little box that the lid just left off. And that's my favourite kind of box because, to be fair, no struggle. It's mostly women that buy these. And they don't want to be coming up here and try to pop a lid off it. Yeah. Just Wrestling with it. Left it. Take out what they want to take. Put the lid back. Yeah, they're good. Or the diamond rings. That's how they want it. Yeah, they're diamond rings that I never bought. So there it is, the, the, uh, the grain matches up mostly, not too bad. Reasonably really well. Very just nice. A good shine. Excellent. That has to go around there. That's just about there. That is. That's it. Yeah. Stephen Miller nice says, looks shiny. great, Brian. Uh, the bottom's yeah, fine. Got very nice. There's a little it's buffing good. on the bottom just great. to finish that off. So very there you nice. go. One little, one That's little. Uh, good. Was it you? you? Yes, it was. I'll make another one out of this to make it a pair. Uh, there we are. That's it. Uh, gummy bears. Yeah, not far away. Are they? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's a uh, heavy place for the mouse. Right, guys, I'm bringing you back in again. Bring you back in, use with triple use. Use, use, use. Bring use. you back in, use. Is that like a Scottish term or? Use. No, it's English. <laughs> no, it's English. Or is it Irish? No, English. Yeah, definitely, definitely English. I don't think that might be Scottish. You never heard of the River what? Ouse? Have you never heard of the River Ouse? Yeah, that's where you were born, yeah. isn't it? Ouseby. Well, the village is in, in there's a village River called Ouseby. Ouseby in Cumbria. Well, the River Ouse uh, yeah, goes to something. York. It does, but there's a village in Cumbria called Ouseby. It, and the Ouse is out everywhere. So there you are, they? So we've made a Good little... Man. Uh, that's one little box. We'll make a few more for uh, Mike. Yeah. A few different shapes. But that was just the shape that came to mind as I was doing that there. So that was fine. Got a little pretty peanut. Brian. Lovely little, little box. Peanut. Right, thanks for watching, guys. Nice. Appreciate it. Nice comments it. coming in there, Phil. Yep, yeah, excellent some lovely comments. comments. I'm seeing that. Thank you, people. Very lovely little box. Lovely, yeah, you really liked it. Hit the thumbs up on the way out just for Brian. And please put a comment in after the video's gone off for a while. You'll be able yeah, to make comments. Yeah, that good. Just say, well, you know, a few comments to say you support whether me. Whether you liked it or not, whether you enjoyed it, whether there's anything yeah. I can do to, to um, make it more entertaining for you. Get new earworms, or, I mean, I don't know what, like, something. Or be the channel all together, <laughs> maybe. Close yeah. the channel down, whatever you want to do. <laughs> I don't really take care. Up, but take leave, up radio. Leave me a comment. <laughs> take, yeah, take up radio. you got a, you got a face for radio, radio Brian. I yeah. definitely I think got a Maurice face needs a brother. I think you oh. need to be less cheeky. Is that Clarice? <laughs> John Claude. Uh, I need uh, Maurice and uh, Clarice. Clarice. Clarice, Clarice and Maurice. Or is it Clarice and Morris? It's probably it. Steve, Steve from SK Craft says, don't forget, he gives it a thumbs up on the way out. Yeah, and if you've enjoyed it, that. give it a thumbs up. If you haven't enjoyed it, give it a thumbs down. But tell me tell why. Me why. Go just stick a thumbs up and run away. There's they couldn't make an excuse, say you're getting old, that's why they didn't like it, or you're getting fat, that's why they didn't like it, or... You I'm know. getting fat, yeah, so that's why you just don't like it. I'm getting fat. Yeah. Got a extra large Robert Sorby smock on tonight, because these it's other ones wouldn't fit. Large, it's just <laughs> wouldn't large. fit, Steve. These other ones wouldn't fit. That's what it was. Like, it's far too big for me, look. I mean, for goodness sake. <laughs> Come back next like week, people, and you'll find, you'll find that smock will fit him tight to a dream. <laughs> Right, anyway, are we done? We're done. Nearly quarter to nine. Thank you very much for coming in, guys. I really enjoyed your company today. Yep. Thanks very much to my earworms for helping all out. All good fun. <laughs> it's all good fun, is right. <coughs> Terry's on a Monday. Yay! SK Craft, Steve's on tomorrow night. Yep, Steve's on tomorrow night. 
Seven o'clock, yeah. Yeah. Seven o'clock tomorrow night. Something you're done yet, Steve. Stephanie's on. Who's on tomorrow night? Steve. Steve. It's not. Oh, I thought you said. I thought you said it was going to be a special ed guest year one, but I don't think it's it is. Stephanie's. Is it? Stephanie's nah. on. Well, Stephanie. Okay. Steve. Don't read the chat, right? Don't read the chat. Read the chat. Matching shoes. Yeah, matching shoes. Oh my God, fat boy. <laughs> Steve. <laughs> I think I could stand, but I think I could stand beside you, and uh, your belly would stick out further than mine, big lad. <laughs> wink, wink, nod, nod, nudge, nudge, and, and all that sort of thing. You, you have no room to talk, Terry Bray. Hey, nothing wrong with me, look. Yeah, like a gypsy's dog, I am. All ribs. Yeah. <laughs> gypsy's oh, dog. Yeah, all ribs. You've got about four sets of ribs under there, Terry. <laughs> all ribs in one hip. Love yeah, it. Exactly. Right, we're off. We're going to press the Brilliant, button. Brilliant, mate. Thanks very much, guys. We'll talk to you all. Um, so Steve's on, sorry. I'll tell you again. Steve's on Steve's Friday. On Wayne should be on Saturday, I think. Saturday. Fingers crossed. Hopefully, because it's, uh, he's got rid of his flooding, we think. And this so. lump here will be, this lump, Terry, will be on on Monday at lunchtime. I'll be on Monday evening again. Unless, oh, unless, un unless, unless Twisted, on Twisted Pete wants to come on. He might no, want to do it instead of me. No, he doesn't. Never know. You're doing Monday. I'll be turning the box, drinks. people. If there's I'm a 360 the club meeting on on Monday, I won't be here. There may be, well be actually. I can't remember now. Second, yeah, it might be a second Monday. Or, uh, can't remember this week or next week. I think it's next week. So I'll see you Monday lunchtime, we'll one o'clock. Wayne is on at lunchtime apparently. Pete's just come Tomorrow, down. good. No, you are on Monday, Terry. Yeah, I knew, I knew okay. you would say that. That's you told. That. Yeah, good man. Now I'm on Pete. I'll do Monday for you. <laughs> I'll, I'll cover for you, Pete, I'll for Monday. For... Okay. I'll cover for you. I'll cover for, <laughs> I'll cover for <laughs> Pete for Monday. I'm always covering for Pete, people. I know. It's 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 on at lunch and, Steve, and Steve says only if you're breathing in, who's be. Aye, right, Steve. Suck it up, suck it up. Yeah, suck Next it up. Monday yeah. is uh, 360. Well, it is so 360. You, you so no live for me on Monday night. I won't be here. Fair I'll be in the 360 club meeting. Abusing Martin, Savan Smith, as much as I can. <laughs> and others. <laughs> and others, yeah. Right, we're off. I presume I'll Wayne's on up tomorrow, since he was on last night, so... Oh, well, Friday, yeah, of course. It's, it's, uh, does anybody know lunchtime. if Wayne's on lunchtime he is? Somebody mentioned it there a minute ago. Someone's asked if he is, and it's Doug. Yeah, he's Wayne on lunch tomorrow. Maybe. Yeah. No idea. I honestly can't tell you, but uh, keep your eyes open. If you're sub to his channel, you'll, you'll be... find out. Susie suggested William do Monday night. Oh, well, that'd be a good idea. Oh, William's in the 360 club. Sorry, guys. He's, He's in the club, club yeah, too, so, so. You know. Oh. And you That's lot could join as well. It's only £5 a month. You get a demonstration every month. And the second you meeting do. of the month, we get a discussion. Get show discussion and tell. And show and tell. And yeah, we've got a Glenn and I are supposed to be joining. <laughs> it's excellent. Well, yeah. there's no excuse for not joining because the website's working. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And it's so easy, to, joined, easy to sign up. Now. Yeah. I was able so to do it. Yeah. <laughs> Let your fingers do the typing. Get joining 360 Club. Because it's, it's open now. The website is working. Okay. Um, and what we, William's looking to do Thursdays. That's what William's looking to do. <laughs> is yeah, he? Good. Yeah, Thursday. <laughs> Thursday. Right, on, Thursday. And on, note, and on that note, I'm pressing the button. He's going Thursday's okay. lunchtime until until midnight in the evening. He's going to be a long session. Say good night, guys. Bye, everybody. Bye, everybody. Good night, guys. Good night, Thanks guys. Thanks for turning up. Thumbs up on the way out.